Hola, hola, hola. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, La Planning Diva. And it's been a while. I am so, so sorry. I went MIA. I miss you all so much. I miss filming. I miss planning. I miss YouTube. Life got busy. It happens. It's actually February the 3rd at around 5 in the morning today. I have surgery later today, so it's funny to me that I managed to hop on here just hours before I'm going to be under the knife. I am taking a couple days off next week because of my surgery for recovery, so I might have more time to film. So funny enough, because I'm having surgery, I might have more time to film. Take a little break from work. Work has been wild. It's been go, 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 go for the last couple of weeks. But I just finished up some major projects at work. So I'm really seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and definitely seeing that I'm going to have a little bit more time in my life to dedicate to planning. So here I am. And in case you're curious, my surgery today is a stapedectomy. I have hearing loss caused by a genetic disorder called otosclerosis. My inner ear bone, specifically my stapes, is calcifying, so it's not vibrating as it should be because it's so stiff. And the vibration of your inner ear bones is what causes your brain to perceive sound. So because my inner ear bone is not vibrating, I'm losing my hearing. Thankfully, it's completely reversible. I actually got my left ear done. I don't know if y'all remember. I took a break in June because I got my left ear done. I had my inner ear bone removed and a titanium prosthetic put in. And so today, the third, um, we're going to go in and do my right ear. And I'm going to be 100% back to hearing the world, enjoying music, being able to hear people speak, and just being able to hear the world. So I'm very, very happy and grateful for that. And I don't know if you can tell, but this is a completely new filming setup. I am kind of living for it. I don't know. Let me know how it is. I'm actually filming in our office. Me and my boyfriend share an office. It's slash office slash craft room for us. I just moved in all my craft stuff into this room and I'm really, really excited with the setup. I can't wait to share it with you, do a little tour of my craft corner. And at first I was going to continue to film in the bedroom, which is where I've always filmed my videos. But I've decided to set up filming in here. I'm still planning on filming in my old space, my old filming setup no location, but I really want to be flexible with it because it really depends on what my boyfriend's doing and what space he's using. Like right now, it's five in the morning. He's asleep in the bedroom. I can't film in the bedroom because of that. I'm not going to kick him out. So it would be really, really nice for me to have a filming setup here in the office so that I can film in here when he's sleeping because I do wake up. Um, a little bit earlier than he does. And then in the day, if I want to film like on a weekend, he's usually here in the office. Um, we don't really spend too much time in the bedroom during the day because that room is strictly like the bedroom. So I can go in there and film when he's out and about. And if he, that way, if he wants to go into his office, which has most of his stuff in here, um, then he doesn't have to like feel like he can't get into the office. Anyway, so I set up this um, filming setup in my craft corner. This is actually a really, really small space. Like what you see here is like the extent of the little like work surface I use in my crafting corner. It's a convertible like art easel that this thing, this part right here can lift up and be at an angle. So if I want to work on something and have it be at an angle, this table lifts up and it like locks in place. It's really cool, but it's just a small space. Um, but I'm fine with that, honestly. Anyways, we're here with my February monthly. It's already kind of starting to be set up. I was working on this and then I decided why not just try to figure out how to film in this space, in this room and my setup. It actually didn't take too long to set it up. It's janky as it always is, but it's doing the job. So this is the February monthly and right now I'm using the Disney seasonal. This is the divider for February. It's so cute. Mickey and Minnie looking all cute. It's very Valentine's Day themed. And of course I had to do, you know, a Valentine's explosion for the monthly. So how I set it up um, so far is I've been using the scrapbook paper. This is such a cute like sweethearts themed scrapbook paper. It's 
adorable. I've always loved like the aesthetic of Sweethearts. I think they're so, so, so cute. It's a beautiful pastel. It's very classic Valentine's. And I actually sat down and had the time to cut out these strips. I measured the dimensions of each section, cut them out from scrapbook paper that I got at Michael's. I got a new paper pack. I'm very excited about it. Um, I think this is new. It's called Sweethearts Day. It's at Michael's and it has just so many different types of Valentine's um, scrapbook paper. So I cut this out. Sweethearts theme. I already have some sticky notes down for things that are going to happen this month. And I also have my bag of Valentine's Day goodies. This is like where I keep all of the Valentine's, Valentine's Day themed stickers from um, previous years. Anything I pick up goes into here. So I have that ready to go. And let's get into it. And I think because I covered up the February up here, I'm going to grab this sticker from this is Chic, no, Capital Chic Designs. I swear that this thing is so old. I'm still trying to get through it. Let's grab this and put it up here. I'm going to have to cover up the Sunday, but it is what it is. And before I get into the decorating and such, um, I kind of want to cover up these boxes down here because these are not actual days. I think I'm going to cover up Mickey and Minnie here. And I'm actually thinking of using this piece of scrapbook paper. It's foily. It's beautiful. It's so much fun. I love these jars with the hearts in it. So I think I'm going to cut out like a nice piece um, of scrapbook paper from this section, kind of dip into this gold um, or this yellow grid with the gold foil hearts. I'm going to cut out a piece here and cover up these four boxes down here because again, I don't need these boxes. I'm going to measure out the dimensions of this section and this section up here and then uh, use my ruler to cut out specific pieces. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. I have my Fisker paper trimmer and my ruler. So we're all good to go. Okay, actually, I kind of changed my mind. Um, at first, I cut, you know, the exact uh, size needed to fill up this box here. But as you can see, um, it didn't really cut out too much of that pattern. I just, of that top strip right here, it just had a little piece of yellow and a little bit of foil. It really wasn't looking too great and so i decided to just cut out the strip with the um jars here and i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to take some valentine's day themed washi and line the top so let me pull these out um i'm thinking of potentially using one of these to kind of frame the top of this here and cover that little bit of strip that's left from the box so i think that's going to be the plan So cute! Scrapbook paper is such a great way to add a lot of decoration, a lot of color to your spread. They're just like huge stickers. Like look at that, that's so cute. I think I'll add this really bright washi. Oh, that's so much fun. Look at that. I'll add it to the top here. Oh, that's a little bit longer than I wanted it to be. Let me just cut off the excess here. There we go. I really like these um, dainty scissors to get little detail work in like that. Usually I'm not so picky um, with the details, but today I have the time. And I also really like to spend my time with the monthly. Um, with the weeklies, I'm a little bit more um, casual. Like I don't mind a little, you know, mess up here and there, but with the monthlies, I do like them to be as nice and neat as possible. What a mess. Let's see. I'm going to try to clear up some stuff here. I love it. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of tempted to add these jars up here as well, but they're a little bit too short. And I want it to really um, take up the whole area here. I kind of regret putting the sticker down first because 
Um, it's kind of covering up this, but okay, it peels up pretty easily, so there we go. Okay, let me cut out um, something that will take up the space of these three boxes. Um, I really like that Love Be Mine section. I also really like the coupon Good for Ice Cream, or the coupons here. I think the coupons are really fun. Also, Happy Valentine's Day, super cute. Um, my goodness. And I think I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the um, jars with the hearts because I feel like, you know what, actually I changed my mind. I think I'm going to go with, with this strip here with the stripes. Let's see. Let's pull it out and see. Okay, let's get that one. Okay, I'll also take out this, um, or I'll cut out this coupon strip and see how I like it. Okay, let's pull out those. Okay, so it could be like this. Or we could do the Happy Valentine's Day. Ooh, that one's cute. Or we could do this one. That one's really cute. I feel like this color scheme goes well with the pastels I have going on. This one's also cute. I feel like with this one, the Happy Valentine's Day would be cut off here. So I think we're gonna go with the um, with this one. I stand by my choice. Okay, I think that's what's gonna happen. And this time I'm gonna put this one on the bottom here. So the scrapbook paper is kind of flush with where the actual days begin. And this time I'm gonna go with this white washi tape with the red foil hearts. This one's really, really cute. Um, where is my washi tape cutter? Here it is. So let's try to um, put this down. I love it. And I love how the seasonal planner has all these little hearts up and down the spine. It's super, super cute. And now I think we're ready to start really decorating. Kind of want a sidebar sticker. I kind of don't want a huge sidebar sticker um, because I don't want to cover up too many of those beautiful sweethearts. But maybe just a few boxes here and there. Maybe maybe two boxes. This is Mojo Jojo Plans pink boxes. And I'm thinking of maybe getting some of these here. Um, oh, this is my last aligned pink box. So maybe I'll put one here. And then another one. Oops. This one's ripping. This one maybe down here. Um, something like that. And then I'll put maybe a full box in between there. And I already have my Valentine's Day stickers from my, um, what is this? This is from the All the Seasons sticker book from the Happy Planner. I think I'm gonna grab this one. Oh, how lovely with the foil. Maybe like this. Oh, how lovely. Perfect. These are actually all the uh, Valentine's Day stickers from the Happy Planner that I have. I actually don't have that many happy, uh, Valentine's Day stickers. I missed out on getting that Valentine's Day Be Happy box that came out a while ago with the entire sticker book dedicated to Valentine's Day. But that's fine because honestly, it's only really one day, one week, one monthly spread that I'll do every year. <laughs> so I don't really need to um, have too many Valentine's Day stickers. Okay, the next thing that I want to do is actually um, kind of transform these sticky notes into actual sticker boxes. And then I also need to check in with my yearly, like year at a glance calendar at the beginning of my planner to make sure that anything that's going on um, is on this monthly. 
And I also just need to take a second to make sure that um, there's nothing else going on besides what I have here. So let's see. Um, I'm going to grab my Mojo Jojo um, sticker book here. And I think, I think, I think I'm going to like use this little sticky note as like a sticker. Like I kind of like how it looks. Hmm, I wonder if I maybe put the sticker over one of these, like so. See what I'm saying? I was thinking of putting the sticker or the sticky note on top of this box from Mojo Jojo Plans. Um, but I'm thinking instead of kind of layering it over this sticker here and calling it good. Maybe I'll like slightly... Uh, stagger it so that you can see more of the design on the back like that like so do you see that perfect and then maybe i'll use a little bit of tombow adhesive to really stick the sticky note down like that okay and then saturday i have plans to hang out with uh, my friend jess up in santa Ana, california i'm in san diego so she's about an hour a little bit more from me and you know what i think it would be really fun to use red and pink inks to write for the monthly and just like get all into the valentine day theme i have i have pilot g2s this one's just in a general magenta a red a uniball this one's in a nice kind of violet magenta i have a jelly roll sakura and a beautiful neon magenta and i have this u brands um, glitter gel pen in red so we'll use these pens Okay, there we go. Um, set that up. I'm trying to play around with different fonts and being a little bit more playful with my script and not just using the same old handwriting that I tend to use all the time. I really like how it turned out. I like mixing fonts and also pens. I'm really trying to play around with that. So I'm visiting Jess up in Santa Ana at 1130 a.m. Jess, if you're watching this, it's 1130 a.m. <laughs> We're also planning on going to a zine making workshop at the Los Angeles library. So we're excited about that. Sunday, I still need to think about it. <laughs> I still need to think about what I want to do. Um, Jess invited me to go to brunch with her and her friends. So I might do that. I also might not be feeling the best um, because I am having surgery today. So already like visiting my friend on the day after it might be pushing it. I'm a little reluctant to commit full heartedly because I don't want to like wake up Sunday and just feel like not the best and want to just go home. So I'm gonna put a box here, um, but I'm not gonna fill it in yet because I kind of want to leave my plans a little bit flexible. Um, and see how I feel, you know, when I wake up on Saturday. Okay, and then on the 6th, my mom is coming back. Um, she was in Mexico for the last couple of days. I think she was there like 10 days. But she's coming back. We're picking her up from the airport around 10 a.m. So I just want to make a note of that. And maybe it'd be cute to use one of these car stickers here uh, because we are going to the airport to pick her up. And of course, a nice heart sticker because I love my mom. Okay, and then the next thing that I have going on is an LA Planner Babe date with Rachel. Hi, Rachel. If you're watching this, I'm so excited to hang out and get to meet you and talk about planners and show off our planners to each other. It's going to be so much fun. And yeah, I'm just excited to hang out in LA. 
I'm really excited to show you um, the Japanese bookstore in Little Tokyo. It's like half stationery store, half bookstore, and it has the cutest stationery items. I always spend way too much money when I go there, so I hope you like it. Ooh, and I just found this little like best friend sticker here. So cute. And then on the 12th, I think I'm going to try to meet up with my friend um, who also lives in LA. I'm thinking of maybe staying the night um, on the 11th at my boyfriend's sister's place and then like heading up to where my friend lives on the 12th to have lunch with him. I have to actually check in with him to see if he's free this day. But I'm gonna put a box here and I'm gonna leave that blank as well because I'm gonna see if he's around. Okay, and then the 14th is Valentine's Day. And I actually have these stickers here. These are also from the seasonal um, sticker book. And I have this Valentine's Day sticker. So I'm gonna put this right there, very cute. Okay, and I think the last thing that I have going on here is I just want to make a note that the Costa Mesa Gem Fair is happening this weekend, the 24th, 25th, and 26th, and so I'm likely going to go to it. Um, and let's see, I'll grab another pink box here, and I will um, pick out... Um, let's see. Maybe one of these softer pink boxes. I think I'm going to pop it like in the middle between the 24th and 26th because, because I'm likely going to go either the 24th or the 25th. I don't really tend to go on Sundays as much. So uh, yeah, let me just write Costa Mesa Gem Fair. And I'm thinking of potentially going with my supervisor. She's awesome. I love her. She loves to bead. And so um, we went last time and it was awesome. Oh, and then for birthdays, um, my friend Jen, she's turning 30 on the 2nd. Or she turned 30 on the 2nd because that was yesterday. Okay, and then the last thing I think that I want to make a note of is that on the um, 21st, which is a Tuesday, it's Mardi Gras, I am going to be giving a talk to the Alameda County Beekeeper Association. So um, I'm sure I've mentioned this a million times. I did my PhD in honeybee genetics. So sometimes beekeeper associations ask me to speak to them, like give them a presentation. And the Alameda Beekeeper Association reached out to me um, last year and asked me to come chat with them. Usually I keep like work kind of things in my work planner and I don't really have a lot of work related things in this planner. This is my flagship home life planner. It's mostly for like household and social stuff and also a memory keeper. And it's very like decorative and creative. Um, and I try to kind of keep it separate from my work stuff, but I do want to make a note of this here because first of all, it's cool. And second of all, um, last month, I totally woke up like in a cold sweat thinking that I had missed this talk because I remember it being like on the 21st or 22nd and I totally forgot about it completely forgot about it in January I totally just was not thinking about it and I woke up like the 23rd in the middle of the night just like a little bit freaked out wondering if I had completely forgotten to show up to this talk it is like a zoom talk so I was you know just supposed to show up on Zoom, but I totally freaked out and I was like, oh my goodness, did I completely forget about that? And I felt so bad and I went to go check to see when this talk was. And it was February the 21st, it was a whole other month. And so I was like, oh my goodness, I like wrote it like three times. I put it in my Google calendar, I put it in my work planner, I put it in um, just like my on the go planner, just so I would remember to show up. I mean, it's not like a huge, huge deal. I'm sure like if I didn't show up, they'd be like very understanding. I would have been so ashamed if I just did not 
show up. <laughs> sometimes it happens. I sometimes feel like I juggle way too many things and I think I can do it all and then eventually, inevitably, like a ball drops somewhere. Okay, so that's all that's going on for now. And I think what I'm gonna do now is just decorate. And I do wanna leave um, room for myself to add more plans as they emerge throughout the month. I also want to add, uh, I also want to give myself room to um, just decorate as the month progresses. So let's just see what we have here. I really like this buy me chocolates, tell me I'm pretty. I am such a basic bitch when it comes to Valentine's Day. Like I just want chocolates and roses and a stuffed teddy bear and diamonds. <laughs> so if you're watching this, Steven, Steven's my boyfriend. He supports me so much by watching my videos, my Aries King. If you're watching this, don't forget the chocolates. I think that's enough for full boxes. Um, let's see. Ooh, I really like um, these I Love You A Latte stickers. I'll add one there. And then I like these this um, heart box with the chocolates, so cute. I add this here. Okay. And I do want to add this right here. This is like a love letter with some hearts. Let's add that right there. And then I'll add some hearts here and there sprinkle them mm, like that okay. oh this little piece of sticker got stuck there we go oh, whatever i'm gonna get rid of that okay and then this is the bag where i have all my valentine's day um stuff i kind of want to get a bigger like scrapbooking bag i know they sell them at hobby lobby because some of this larger scrapbook paper doesn't really fit in here I might be able to squeeze it in lengthwise, but I have these stickers, these stickers, and I just got the ones in the bag still. So let me pull all of that out. So let me show you. I have these, love these. I love when they do these like puffy 3D stickers with like glitter in them. I love these. These are hearts with like um, kind of iridescent glitter in them. Love these. These are little like bottles with little scraps of paper and hearts in them and a little jeweled heart. Love these so much. These are super cute. These I, I got at Michael's this year, so I'm sure you can still find them. These are nice. These are hard plastic stickers. They're 3D. They're kind of raised but not as puffy as these stickers and they're just nice heart balloons i'm definitely going to use some of these these are actually from two years ago these are super super cute like jar stickers with glitter um they have little dog faces in them they're very very cute and then i have these these are kind of the same material as these um, these are like glitter hearts slightly raised but they're not obnoxiously raised these are velvet, or these are super cute. These are um, felt hearts. Very, very cute. Love them. And then I have these two sticker sheets, which were actually from, this was from a Valentine's Day sticker book from Recollections a few years back. Um, so I just have these. And then lastly, I have these like pet stickers. These are super cute. They're 3D as well. And these are also from a few years back. So we have all of these choices, so many choices. I kind of want to use um, a dog, so let me grab one. I'm thinking of putting one maybe like here in the corner. And I kind of want to have another dog. I kind of want to use up these stickers because um, I've had them for a while. So let me see, maybe I'll put this one here. Oh, so cute. And then I'll just have two left for next year. Okay, next. I kind of want to use one of these bright foil hearts. I think that'd be super cute. So maybe one right here. And then maybe a smaller one like up here. Very cute. It's red foil. So it's a little bit like hard to see on camera. But I think it looks super cute. I would love to use one of these um, felt tarts. So I'm thinking of this one with the white background maybe up here oh so cute love it 
and then maybe one over here. Oh my gosh, adorable. Okay, let's add some of these glitter hearts. Um, I kind of want to add them along the spine here. Very cute. Ugh, I love it. This is going to be a Valentine's Day explosion. And of course, I need to add some heart balloons. And I'm thinking just of one, just one cluster. Mm, let's see, where should I put this? Maybe like right here. Yeah, I love it. Okay, I do want to use one of these stickers. Um, again, these are some of my older stickers. So I do want to like use them. And I think it, <laughs> it's so cute because I have these jars with the hearts. So I think it would like be really cute to add one of these down here. I kind of want to use another one of these jar stickers because um, it's kind of crushed. <laughs> I haven't been super gentle with these stickers, so might as well just use another one, right? I'm thinking of making a little cluster right here. There we go. Ah! Oh no, I broke it. <laughs> I shouldn't have squished it. Oh well, it was kind of a... Uh, was kind of squished in the first place um okay i'm gonna grab this jar right here okay there we go the trick is to like press it firmly enough so that it sticks um because the, the, the adhesive on the back of these isn't the best but not strong enough so that it like crushes the jar and makes it implode and spill its guts everywhere i have three of these jars left these are so so cute Okay, and I kind of want to use one of these, um, just because they are so cute and I just have to. These jar stickers, ugh, they're adorable. Let's see, maybe over here. I like that, I like the idea of putting it over here. Oh, cute. Okay, and then I think one of the last things that I want to do is some washi tape. So I have this really thin Valentine's Day washi tape. It's red foil hearts, really, really dainty and small. So I think this is going to be perfect. I do want to use washi tape in as many spreads as possible and as much as possible because I have so much washi tape that um, I just need to work on making good use of it. So that's Where's my wash? Where's my washi tape cutter? Oh my gosh. Okay, here it is. Okay. Ugh. Ah, that did not cut as planned. Okay, that's enough washi tape. Okay, I have some stamps because I have way too many stamps not to use stamps every single spread. So I have some birthday stamps. I think that would be fun to stamp for Jen's birthday here. So this one says happy birthday to you. I am so blessed to live next to a thrift store that is like the most amazing thrift store in the world. It has so many good things. It changes every single day. You'll always find what you need at that thrift store. And they always have like crafty stuff and they'll sell like just bags, like a bag of this big of stamps that has maybe like 20, 25 stamps in it for four dollars okay so i'm gonna um stamp this kind of tilted oh cute happy birthday to you and i also am gonna use this cupcake stamp here um just right next to jen's birthday sticker like so oh that's a little crooked oh well <laughs> Um, and okay, so where's my, here it is. I have this like printer paper that I stamp the residue of the ink on so that my stamps aren't, you know, just sitting in ink. I do have stamp cleaner, but I find that getting ink off like this is the most effective and efficient. Okay, and then I just got these stamps here. Um, this one says love on it. It's very cute. It's a beautiful font. Okay, let's see. Love. I'm going to put this one down here. Ooh, it's so cute. 
And then this one says, is such a big word, it really should have more letters. Honestly, I think this one goes like as a pair with that love stamp. I don't see why they didn't just um, put it together though. Oop, my alarm went off on my phone. Um, okay, anyways, I'm almost done. The last thing I'm gonna do is stamp this heart stamp here with this baby pink ink. I love using this baby pink ink for when I want to stamp something, but not have it be too overwhelming. So I honestly don't have that much room on this um, spread anymore. So let's see where we can sneak this in, maybe here. See, isn't that so cute? It's very soft and it doesn't like get in the way of things. I can write over that stamp, but at the same time, it's like still a nice little accent. Perfect. And I think that's it. I think we're good. Okay, so the last thing that I'm going to do is put these pages into my planner. So let's pull for my flagship planner. Ah! Okay. Let's flip to, um, oh, this is my last monthly spread. I love how it turned out. Gorgeous. I went with like a winter theme. So let's get to um, February here. So let's pop these pages in. I love it. I love how it turned out. I think it's gorgeous. So much fun. So festive. So Valentine's Day-ish. Um, and I'm really, really happy. And um, I also had a lot of fun putting together the February um, currently page, the monthly overview page. Um, I actually just didn't really have an, a clear idea for what I wanted to do with it. I just knew that I wanted to do Valentine's Day themed. And I had this picture lying around. Uh, my boyfriend took this picture of me and my pugs. This is Bugs. He's nine years old. And this is Daisy. She's um, one and almost a half. One and a half. But this is my little craft corner. And it's like my happy place. And so I was in my happy place with my little pugs. And I just got this beanie baby. Um, this beanie baby is Valentina with a little heart. So like perfect for Valentine's Day. And I just wanted to make a big Valentine's Day card um, and I wanted to journal a little bit about um, just everything that I love in my life and that I'm grateful for in my life, particularly my two fur babies and my pugs. They really make my world go round and I just wanted to just get into Valentine's Day stickers and washi and really feel the season. So I really like how that turned out. I'm still going to journal in here, but then this is my, oh, my February monthly. It's a very, very 3D. Oh no, this little, um, this little guy fell, fell off. Let me see. Let me put this here. Okay. I might have to like use Tombow adhesive to really, ah, there we go. Actually, yeah, let me go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to put some Tombow adhesive here. Hopefully this will have it stick a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Yeah, but this is my February monthly. I love it. It's very 3D, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to write on the back. <laughs> oh, well. Beauty is pain. Anyways, um... Anyways, I really like the dog stickers. The dog stickers, little jar, puffy stickers, the felt stickers. Ugh, I'm in love with this. And then this actually is the spread for this week. I went with Sophisticated Florals. I wanted something very neutral. I was feeling kind of like I needed a palette cleanser. Just something very soft and neutral. And yeah, I love how it turned out. Kind of a... Uh, it's kind of nice to have a very neutral spread after such an explosion of color here. Anyways, thank you so much for spending so much time with me here today. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you sticking around with me. Thank you to everyone who subscribed recently. I recently hit 2,400 subscribers here on YouTube, which is wild. Okay, everyone, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, I hope to see you in the next video. So until then, just stay safe, stay blessed, and happy planning. Bye.